the result of the vote is as follows. In favor, 120. Against, 14. Abstentions, 45. Draft Resolution A ES 10 L25 is adopted. We are grateful to all the countries that voted in support of the draft resolution tabled by Jordan and co-sponsored by 46 countries, expressing by an overwhelming majority support for this unequiv unequivocal call for an immediate humanitarian truce, for a halt to all attacks on civilians, for the protection of civilians, for compliance with international law, including humanitarian and human rights law, including the release of all civilians held captive and has called for immediate and unimpeded humanitarian assistance that is so desperately needed by our people in the Gaza Strip. We are one in seeking an end to the killing, the trauma and terror, the destruction. This of course is not something that the representative of the occupying power will ever understand. He still comes here to this world body after it has clearly spoken and said enough bullying and inciting, trying to force everyone to accept their twisted criminal definition of the self-defense, i.e. to massacre civilians and destroy a people. The right to self-defense, as recognized by international law and the United Nations Charter, extends to all Palestinians, including resistance movements such as Hamas, in their struggle against Israeli occupation and military aggression. Regrettably, the representative of Canada tried to whitewash Israeli aggression by shamelessly pointing fingers at Iran. Indeed, Canada persists to stay in the wrong side of history by, ta by taking sides with the darkness and by viciously supporting the military occupying regime of Israel that is brutally massacring, massacring innocent people right now. The level of hypocrisy and double standard is disgusting. Canada and the United States are complicit in the crimes of Israel and they must be held to account before history. Sayyid al-Rais, لقد صوت وفد بلادي لصالح مشروع القرار الذي صوتنا عليه اليوم في الجمعية العامة كونه يهدف بشكل أساسي إلى وقف آلة الحرب الإسرائيلية الهمجية إذ يطالب بوقف فوري لهذا العدوان وإيصال المساعدات الإنسانية ورفض التهجير القسري للفلسطينيين هذا لا يجب أن يكون لديه من الناسيون البزيزي هذا لا يجب أن يكون لديه من الناسيون البزيزي Это победа здравого смысла, справедливости, соображений гуманизма. Это материальное воплощение той огромной обеспокоенности по поводу судеб мирных жителей в Газе и в Израиле, которые всех нас объединяют. Данная резолюция меньше из того, что мы можем и обязаны для них сделать. Итоги голосования лишний раз подтверждают, что ответственные представители мирового, мирового сообщества осознают, что на фоне происходящей на Ближнем Востоке трагедии, гибели мирных граждан, страданий и лишений, не время отстаивать какие-либо какие конъюнктурные интересы. Необходимо послать единый четкий сигнал о необходимости скорейшего прекращения насилия, возвращения переговоров к мирным переговорам на одобренной ООН платформе, Today is a day that will go down in inf infamy. We have all witnessed that the UN no longer holds even one ounce of legitimacy or relevance. This organization was founded in the wake of the Holocaust for the purpose of preventing atrocities. Yet, the spectacle we just saw proves beyond a doubt that the UN is committed 
sadly, tragically, not to preventing but ensuring further atrocities. Israel has the right to defend itself, and the realization of this right is to ensure that such atrocities are never repeated. The only way, the only way to ensure this is the eradication of Hamas's terror capabilities. The only way. Yet this resolution does not even name Hamas. As if this war started on its own. Why are you defending murderers? Why are you defending terrorists that deliberately beheaded children and abducted baby babies? What is going on here? This must make each of you ask yourselves what the true aim was, that was when this resolution was submitted. It is outrageous that this resolution fails to name the perpetrators of the October 7th terrorist attack. Hamas. Hamas. It is outrageous. Another key word missing in this resolution is hostage. This resolution makes no mention of the innocent people, including citizens of many of you in this room, many of you here today who, are, who have citizens who are being held hostage by Hamas and other terrorist groups. These are omissions of evil and they give cover to and they empower Hamas's brutality. As President Biden said yesterday, there's no going back to the status quo as it stood on October 6th. We must not go back to the status quo where Hamas terrorizes Israel and uses Palestinian civilians as human shields. And we must not go back to a status quo where extremist settlers can attack and terrorize Palestinians in the West Bank. The status quo is untenable and it is unacceptable.